Here's a sneak peek of the 30 degree north body. That's all you get <laughs> until I do the video. <laughs> all right, so here is uh, body box number four. I had, to, I had to think there for a second. Body box number four of six. So uh, let's crack into it. And if you're wondering why I still have the same shirt on from the previous video, it's the same day. <laughs> Things are just falling out of the box. Instead of wrestling around with this box here, I'm gonna pour everything out. We're gonna put it on the table and then we're just gonna review it. Okay, like I said, this is box four of six. First thing is a one-tenth scale uh, Tamiya F1 Benetton body set. At first I started bidding on this. I, I didn't even realize that. I thought it was a full car. <laughs> it's just the body set. Apparently it's hard to find because <laughs> I can't find it. So this is the one-tenth scale Benetton Renault B195 body set. I paid for this $168.25. Did not get much for my money. I don't have anything to compare it to. I couldn't find another one. I do have an F1 chassis that I could throw this on. I bought this F1 car to rehab so I can uh, throw this body on here. It's a little wonky. The rear spoiler, whoever had this did not take good care of it. The rear spoiler is a little twisted. But I have uh, all the parts here to rehab it and make it brand new again. So that's what I'll do with this. Next, this is the 112 scale Porsche Jägermeister model kit. This is not the RC. This has the photo etch parts. I collect a lot of my 112 scale cars. So uh, this is one I didn't have. And let's take a look. It's all intact. I do actually have the RC version of this one that has been pieced together. So I have the body, the chassis, the carbon chassis upgrade, all the decals, the wheels, everything, which I still need to put together. But I do actually have the RC version of this. And when I get done, it'll be actually better than the one you buy because I have the, I have the carbon chassis for it. But here's the photo etch parts. You get like this and radiator covers and junk like that. But it's just a model kit. So let's uh, get it out the way and move on. Price on this 112 scale model kit, I paid $88.17. On eBay, I see that they're going for about $240, I believe. So $88 versus $240. Even with shipping, I'm still under. So that's good. Now this is another vintage model kit. It's big scale, 112. It's the Texaco Marlboro M23 F1 car. I'm a big fan of these cars. This is when F1 was out of control and there, wasn't, there, there weren't a whole lot of regulations and people were just getting crazier and crazier what they were building. So I think that's a great part of our racing history. So I really love a lot of these old uh, F1 cars. I think I have probably all of the F1 cars, the 112 scales now. This one I wanted in particular because it had the Marlboro livery and I don't believe they can make any <laughs> cigarette sponsorships or anything like that. Not that I smoke, but I know they can't make it. So it just makes it a little bit more rare. So pretty much anything with a tobacco company livery, I usually try to pick up just because I know they are harder to find. But that looks intact. This next one's a, a Kyosho. Espo LaRousse 90. It's <laughs> another older kit. I'm sorry, the Texaco Marlboro. I paid $84.63 for it. And they go for about $180. So that was 84.63. Now this is the Kyosho car, the Espo LaRousse 90. Sounds French. So the drivers of this uh, F1 car were Eric Bernard and Agura Suzuki. And let's see what this thing looks like. So this obviously is the rear wing, the uh, body. Looks decent, looks fine. Just has plastic over top. So this must be, never had one of these kits. So okay, it's a plastic chassis. Rubber tires and parts. <laughs> suspension arms. I don't know what these are. Front arms. It's like a double wishbone suspension. Oh, check out your wheels, little barrels. <laughs> I'll never get this thing. It has plastic gears for the for the transmission differential or whatever it has. Sorry, I like to put everything back because I don't know what I'm gonna get to even building this, and don't want to lose anything. So over time, the the blister packaging has come undone. But uh, it came with a mechanical speed control and this uh, cool looking uh, purple Kyosho Mega Motor. So it comes with a Mega Motor and we have the delivery. There you have it. 
I got a little nervous here. I squeezed the body to the panels seem to move as if they were cracked, but the body's pre-cut to allow for your suspension arms. So it's fine. So I paid $168.25 for this kit and on eBay they go for around $300. So next we have the Tamaya Lotus Honda 99T. This is a one-tenth scale high performance RC car. So let's uh, see what's inside. So we have the body, tires, uh, 540 motor. See a little spotting inside the box, probably from dampness where, 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 wherever it was sitting. It is a kit from the box has seen some better days. I could tell by the spotting and the packaging. Uh, this kit is from 1987. So uh, this could be expected. It's hard to find a kit that was preserved in a time in a time capsule. You're not gonna find a you're gonna pay really really big money if you if you um want something that is pristine pristine. But this is good enough for me. I I, I really don't think your chassis are let me see what it says on the box. So the chassis is FRP fiber reinforced plastic. They um, usually put a pattern in it and it looks like carbon at first sight but it's really not it's fiber reinforced plastic and there's not a whole lot to that chassis, but that's the chassis. And here's the rest of your, uh, what are those wire ties for? Who knows? But this is all you get in the box. Hopefully you can see that. Your little wheels, your body and driver's head. And this one uses foam tires. And the camel livery, which this is another one. I don't think we're going to be seeing any more tobacco company liveries. So this is uh, another one that I bought because, uh, like I said, I don't support smoking, but I just know those are harder to find. Usually now in the race cars, when they're reproduced by the companies or toy companies or whatever, they'll use the same colors, but they'll change the livery. That ain't good. No damage. They'll use the same colors, but they'll change the livery. It might say, instead of, instead of uh, Camel, it might say Tamaya or whatever. So. so if you want the old liveries, you have to buy old kits. And last but not least, Sorry, for the Lotus, I paid $323.64 for the Lotus kit. And the last kit I got was the new man, Jost Racing Porsche. It's a 112 kit, 950, it's a Porsche 956 112 kit. And uh, let's crack it open. Oh, very cool, it comes with uh, aluminum upgrade parts, it looks like. Small motor, like a 380. We're not gonna use that one. <laughs> Foam tires, and the body's actually bigger than I thought it would be for a 112. Not bad. And here's the rest of your plastic parts. The only thing I don't like the color of the wheels for these kits. The, these wheels are always off colored. That's the way they were made. That was the color that they chose, the plastic that they chose. I just wish there were a different colors, so I might have to change that. Actually, I might try to find turbo fins that for, I might try to find turbo fins for a 112 for the front tires and change out the rear tires. That would look so much better, have the turbo fins on here, and that's what they actually used. That's what's in the picture. But this is a 01 chassis. I guess it's their 112 chassis. I'm not familiar with it, but it's a RM01 chassis. And here, let's put this back in the box. This is nice. So this kit is from 2012, and I paid 336.40 for this kit. These are getting pretty hard to find. I tried looking real quick to give you guys a comparison of what it goes on, what it goes for on eBay and I couldn't find any. So they're getting pretty hard to find. I think I tried bidding on one of these before and it went way above that. So I, this is probably a good buy. So that was box four of six. I have another box here and I still have one that I'm trying to get through, <laughs> through um, Black Ship, which contains nitro cars. So this was box four of six. Let me know what you guys think, how I did. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.